my first skate shoe review, which should have been my last shoe, which was an Etnies, and it was called the Fader 2, which was an amazing shoe. At first, I had some bruising in the balls of my feet. That went away, and the shoe lasted forever. This is the DC Syntax that I'm going to be reviewing. I've skated about four or five sessions in it, and it's gone pretty good. I don't see much where my kickflip toe is. I mean, it's kind of sort of i mean the thing just seems like a tank in my opinion and it has really thick cushioning and that's what i was kind of looking for my, my, i was getting hill bruises really easy from running and skating and so i was like i need something with some good cushioning i went to the store now they only had size 11 and i was like man they fit really tight but if i put them back and lace them down and break them in you know and a lot of people wear skate shoes smaller because they say it gives them better board fill and that's how it used to be but nowadays I can go either way, and I was like, well, this shoe is, feels awesome, it's amazing, it seems like a tank, it's kind of heavy though, I will say that. And so, I, I ended up just going ahead and going with it, I mean, I got a real good deal, and <clears throat> these laces, when I first put it on, I was like, this shoe's great, it feels good, but as I got home and I kept wearing it, I wish there was an extra eyelet up here, actually, kind of to cinch it down. But I guess that's the style. Um, kind of leaves these laces kind of out and down. So you can slip it on and off a little bit easier. But the heel cup and where my foot sat was a little wrong. So I would definitely dabble in size in this. I would say, if anything, half size up. I would really love to try an 11 and a half on these. You can get these on Amazon through another company. I don't know if it's Zappos or what. But you can get this shoe for 40 bucks right now, which is a steal for the value of it. Because it's going to skate well, it has a tons of cushion, uh, it has two little breathable pods in there, or two little breathable holes that's going to keep your foot hopefully smelling fresh if you wash that down gone thing. It has a little strap right here, which probably doesn't need, it's just their logo. I mean, you could probably take that off and reduce weight DC. I'm not going to start knocking or whatever, it's, it's just a good, it feels like a good skate shoe right now. It took a minute to break in because of the sizing, obviously. Well, going down the size and having to break in a shoe is always tough. But it's just an awesome shoe. Size up if you get it. It's going to last me a long time. I could just feel it. And they have these plastic little eyelids that I'm not even coming close to breaking. I, again, all the wear out from my kick flips are coming from right here. And you can't even tell. I mean, you could tell it's getting rubbed, but you can't see like anything breaking down or I, I can't see this shoe breaking down anytime soon so DC Syntax check it out 40 bucks on Amazon damn good deal and for the kind of mid shoe because the big shoe is making a comeback everyone's been seeing that and then you have like the kind of the I don't know van style or shoes that have less ankle puffiness as the ankle puffiness that uh, kind of that old school that's what I like in a shoe. I mean, that's what I grew up skating. So I really like that. Or wearing skate shoes. That's what I liked. I like that feel. But I, I was going to go with the super big ones. But I went with, you know, kind of the mid-range. And that's where I am right now. I think that's the, the bigger, bigger ones would be good for walking. But not for skating and just be too damn heavy. Because this is already heavy already. I usually do a weight test. But I just, I'm totally bombing on that. Because I haven't done re re reviews for a while. But whatever, that's all wash. DC Syntax, check it out. Get it for cheap, the damn tank. Catch you guys later. Peace.